Hello folks, Android offers more multitasking flexibility than iOS. However, the one thing the Android lacks is the ability to offer dragging and dropping of files between two full screen apps. iOS 16 lets you drag an item from one full screen app and then drop into another full screen app using system gestures. Although, for example, Oppo somehow managed to add this function on the Android 13 skin. But obviously, this is not a native tool, since even Google Pixel didn't have this feature until now. Thank Thankfully, the Android scenario is going to change with Android 14. According to the latest report, Android 14 has a new multitasking trick up its sleeve that will make Android multitasking a much better experience. Neil Sadekov on Twitter spotted the feature in the latest Android 14 beta version that lets you drag and drop files or text between two full screen apps. In Android 14, all you need to do is simply long press text, images, or other files with one finger, then use the second finger to perform system navigation gestures while holding on to the selected media. This would negate the need to put the two apps in split-screen mode to drag and drop files between those apps. With Android 14, not only will you be able to swipe between open apps, but you can also go to the home screen or swipe from the edge of your display to go back to the previous screen. Previously, the OS would ignore all these gestures, but with Android 14, things are going to change. This may sound like a subtle change, but it improves the overall multitasking experience on Android OS. This feature can be even more helpful on big screen devices like foldable phones and tablets. It will come to Samsung phones and tablets with Android 14 based One UI 6.0 update that will roll out later this year. Samsung has been constantly improving its latest flagship lineup, fixing HDR issues and promising new camera features. Now, thanks to famous tipster Ice Universe, we have a sneak peek at one of those upcoming camera features. And it will please portrait enthusiasts. The feature in question is the ability to get 2x magnification while in portrait mode in the Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera app. The new mode was posted by Ice Universe during a testing phase of unreleased firmware for the S23 Ultra. The tipster posted a screenshot on his Twitter page showing the feature in action. The screenshot shows a 2x option on top of the 1x and 3x options that are already present. This gives more focal length options to users who want to capture portrait images of people, pets or other objects. Further down in the comments under the post, Ice Universe explains that the feature is coming with a huge 1.5 GB update, currently being internally tested. The firmware version ends with WE9 symbols, according to the inside information. Another clarification sheds some light on the actual technology behind this 2x portrait mode. Apparently, this 2x option in the Galaxy S23 Ultra's camera app uses a 50 megapixel crop in sensor zoom from the primary 200 megapixel ISOCELL HP2 camera sensor. In sensor zoom offers better details than just digitally cropping an image. This option is already present in the Galaxy S21 series. The resulting 50 megapixel image will be converted to 12 megapixel pixel shots using pixel binning. The technology that most of Samsung's huge megapixel sensors use to stack pixels together and get more light. The 1.5 GB update should arrive toward the end of this month or in early June and should also fix the blooming artifacts around objects in HDR as well as bring optimized 2x zoom for videos. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all!